Hey everybody, it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and welcome to another video. This one's all about 17 items that I sold on eBay and Etsy in 2017. These just so happen to be the last 17 items that I sold, so I thought I would share those with you as a final um, sales update video before the end of the year. I'll come back later uh, and do another with like my best sales and maybe even my worst sales. So you can get an idea of what kinds of things really sell well and what kind of things were big flops of the year. So let me say, hey, I am live. So hello in the chat, my friend Caroline is here and hello one witch lady, thanks for coming. Um, if you're watching this later and you're interested in catching me live, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. And if you're wanting to make sure you catch all of my good, bad, and the ugly sales of 2017. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. All right, so let's jump into it. I do have my OBS system going. Hello, Leslie, so we can see everybody who's chatting, yay. All right, so I've sold more than 17 items, but a couple of them were duplicates, so I will just share those as they pop up. Um, so first up is this hat, it's a Wally hat, and it's the character Eve, and it's not a huge sale, but I picked it up for maybe 50 cents at a garage sale, um, and it sold on, Et no, this is eBay, it sold on eBay for $9.99. Not a huge profit, but um, I've been trying to make sure I get $5 or more on anything that sells, so I'm still pretty happy with it. I feel like anything that has sold is is a win, right? So that there's that. And I don't pick up hats anymore generally. It has to be something pretty cool. But I was doing really well with hats for a long time. Hello, everybody in the chat. Hi, Diane, Linda. Hello, Thrifting Fun. Thank you so much. Hey, Chris and Sherry. Sherry, sorry if I said that wrong. And Debs. And let's be happy. Hello. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I haven't been wearing red very much, but I thought... Let's pop red on today. <laughs> okay, next up, this sold, this actually was returned. Um, and if I had caught it in time, I would have just told them not to ship it back. But toys, Toy Story toys, um, and, every, and those type of things sell really well. The problem was that somehow it broke. I even have a video in my listing, and I'll link later how to do that because um, eBay changed the way you can't have active content in your listings anymore but there is a way to do it still and I have a video sharing how to do that so I even had a video in my listing sharing you know showing how it works and what what parts were working and all of that um, but there was still a return on it and if I had caught it in time I would have just told them don't bother sending it back because what am I gonna do with it if it's broken, right? So it, um, it did sell for $21.99 and I believe I picked it up for about a buck or two at a garage sale. So, oh thanks, hello Jacqueline. So there's that, yeah, and I'll have to remind myself to link the video for how to put um, videos in your eBay listings now. Okay, so next up was this Dilbert plush that sold for $14, and I believe I took a best offer on this guy. I was happy to do it because he's been sitting for a little while, and I think I picked him up. Again, I'm doing better about keeping up with my inventory and how much I paid for them, but this one's been up for maybe a year. So uh, I'm guessing I wouldn't have paid more than a buck or two for him because he wasn't a big one. I mean, well, it says he was 12 inches, so maybe he was, well, anyway. So yeah, there's that. All right, next up on eBay, this sold finally, but I did get this for super cheap. I had two of them. They're you know, like nutcracker bowls and it was worn and I thought, well, somebody's going to like it because it's got that aged look to it. But no, <laughs> it took forever and I ended up dropping the price really low just to get it gone. So it sold for $9.99. Yeah, I was ready. I'm ready to get rid of some of my bigger items. <laughs> oh, thanks. Anytime, James. No problem. All right, then next up, this Silver Tone Scroll Cross sold. And if I could go back in time and do this over again, I would take a picture on a dark background because it really gets lost on this white and it's really pretty scroll work cross but yeah I did not do my best on taking pictures of that but that's how you learn right you live and learn and you move forward <laughs> going with going with the future you have that age look Jeff says <laughs> yeah you are priceless and thanks a lot for giving me your your sick so I'm going to the doctor later I think I maybe have caught the sick now I'm pushing through though I'm pushing through anyway this scroll cross sold for eleven dollars and ninety nine cents and it was silver tone so it wasn't sterling silver or anything so still sold next up oh I just love this I I really didn't want to sell it 
but I had no use for it. So I got the, it's a compact, right? And it's by, who was it? Was it Max Factor? No, Merle Norman um, compact, makeup compact. But it had this Alaskan seal on it. This is Alaska. Let's see if I can zoom in on that with this little totem pole. I just thought it was so cool, so Alaska. And it had all this enameling on it. So, I mean, it was aged and worn and stuff, but it was super cool. I just hadn't seen anything quite like it before. But again, I had no use for it, so I didn't keep it, obviously. But it sold for 30 bucks. I took a best offer of $30 on that, and off it went. So, cool. Next, I sold, again, another hat, which I don't really sell anymore. I dropped the price real low on this one, and it sold for 8 bucks. I took a best offer of $8 because I was just happy to see it go. So... Wasn't that pretty, Caroline? That compact? Oh, I just loved it. But again, like I had no use for it. I was tempted to keep it though. <laughs> then this owl mug sold, which is really cute. And it did sell for $23.64. I personally, I know there are people that hate selling mugs. I love them. Um, I'm kind of getting away from them, but I love the kind of profits I can make on mugs. And I tend to do well with animal mugs and things like that, Odigiri animal mugs and things of that nature. I have some mugs that I still need to list that are like airplane mugs that I think will do well, but I just haven't gotten around to them yet. Hello, Caroline Williams. Thank you. I, I, I need to start listing too. Okay, now here's something. So this sold, this is a sterling silver. I put on their anklet, but I think after I took it out to, to ship it, I thought, you know what, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was. I messaged the buyer and said, you know, hey, just want to make sure, um, you know, that you check the measurements on this. Because I did put the measurements in there. And I said, I, you know, depending on the size of your ankle, I'm beginning to wonder if it's an anklet or a bracelet. Because it was kind of an in-between measurement. Anyway, but I never heard back from them. It shipped off. It got there. No problem so far. And this is one that my friend Sharon Pfeiffer sent to help um, the proceeds go to some of the hurricane uh, recovery in our area. So that was really sweet of her. And it sold for $11.99. Hello, Maggie. Hello, hello. And then this item sold. This was a silver plated bud vase. And this was in my grandmother's collection. She had, you know, sugar shakers, hat pin holders. And she even had some little bud vases like this that have been selling slowly but surely. Again, I've had this up for a while. I can tell, one, because of the picture, and two, because I listed it. <laughs> so it's been up for quite a while. I paid nothing for it, but it's a del it did sell, rather, for $24.19. So cool. Keep an eye out for those. If you don't mind long tail items, I, I don't. So, alrighty, next, let's take a look at my Etsy sales. So I sold a few different things on Etsy and starting off, do, 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 I'm getting down to where it was, here we go, um, were these Hawaiian cards. Now, I had two decks of these cards for sale. One of them was in the cellophane and one of them was not and the person purchased the one not in the cellophane. So, okay, they got it. So these sold for $9.99. I probably paid a quarter or 50 cents for them at a garage sale. Not a lot at all. So pretty good um, return on investment for 50 cents. And then I have here this, let's see, I skip, skip a couple. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a minute. It's a little orchid bud in resin. Now I don't think, I don't think orchids get that tiny. I'll have to ask my friend AJ, but it's like a teeny tiny little orchid inside this resin. And it was just the pendant and it sold for $17.99. So when I was, this is something to, if you find stuff like this, when you're looking for keywords to get in your um, title, uh, I found some really cool ones like, you know, pressed floral, make sure I get that in there. Um, uh, terrarium bloom, that was another one that I saw that was a really cool keyword. So that one went off and again, it sold for $17.99 and it was so tiny. It was like this big, teeny, teeny, teeny. Alrighty, next was this Christmas tie. Oh my gosh, if I could see the back of all my ties, I'd be the happiest woman in the world. Um, <laughs> I don't buy, I don't pick up ties anymore and I should just probably pull them all down and donate them. But for whatever reason, I'm like, well, I've already got them listed. Might as well just let them sit there. But no, I'm really not into selling ties. But this tie sold for $12.99. And the strange thing was is that when they ordered it, it was going to come well after Christmas. So... Yeah, but they, you know, I think I had ended up shipping on December 26th, so the day after Christmas is when I sent it out, but that's what they ordered. 
So that's what they got. And did I say, okay, $12.99. Yeah, that's what I sold it for. All right. And I've sold, I've actually sold two of these. So there's another one coming up and I posted it. This is funny. I posted it on Instagram that I sold two of them for 30 bucks. And somebody said something like, oh, you must mean 30 for both. There's no way people are paying 30 bucks for these. And I just need to edit my statement. And this one sold for $32.99. So uh, yeah, they do. They sell for me for between 25 and $35 each. So yeah, this one sold for $32.99 and it shipped off and yeah, awesome. I picked them up for maybe between one and $3. I don't generally pay more than $3 for one. Then, so how many of these sold? I think I sold five of these, but I only counted it as one on my 17 items. So one, two, three, four. So I've sold four of these in the last week or two. And these are my mystery boxes of jewelry. I did a boxing up of them the other day where I was showing like what was going into the bags. And so this is what my listing looks like. And I even had somebody ask me, what do you have for the listing image? So this is the image. So you don't see what's in the mystery box. You just get between 20 and 30, 30 pieces of jewelry. And there's that. So um, those sold, those sell for 20 bucks a piece on my shop. So there's that, that's a sale. And then I sold this little embroidery kit, little needlework kit called Christmas Snowman in the Window Needlepoint Kit. And it sold for $11.99, so not a huge one. I enjoy selling these needlepoint kits, embroidery kits, because if they're still sealed and everything, they're really easy to list and ship. And some of them, especially the Christmas ones, can go for a lot of money. I think I did a video sharing some of my highest selling ones. I mean, because some of them like tree skirts and Christmas stockings can go for into the hundreds. I mean, really, 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 really expensive. Some people celebrate Christmas later like Orthodox Greeks. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Hey, thank you. All right. So there's that. Oh, you mean for the tie? Probably. Huh? All right, and then finally, my sale, here's the other one. So this one, this is the one I shared that sold for $29.99 on um, Instagram. Yeah, so this one sold for $29.99 and went off to North Carolina. And who was it that was saying, oh, all of these that, that she finds, she keeps for herself. I have so many of them, I need to list the rest of them as well. So some companies have their parties in January. Oh, okay, that's true, that's a good idea. All right, so those are, that explains a lot because I, I sold two Christmas shirts on merch on Wednesday when we had our show. And it was after, is it after Christmas? It must have been after Christmas. I'm thinking, yes, yes. Okay, so those are 17 items that sold on eBay and Etsy over the last hmm, couple weeks. I did an Etsy update a little bit ago, but I hadn't shared anything that had sold on eBay. So I thought I'd finish out the year and share some of those sales. Some were good, some were okay, some were just like, I'm so glad you're gone. But yeah, sales to sale, right? So going forward, I am planning on having a couple videos in the new year about my top, maybe my top 10 sales of the year. We'll see if I find some really good ones that may be more, or my top or my lowest 10 sales of the year, my biggest busts of the year. Uh, I thought they'd be kind of fun and a nice way to reflect on how the year went and how we're moving forward into the new year. So I hope you guys are gonna have a really safe, safe new year. Keep safe and warm because there's lots of freezing, freezing weather going on. And I will talk to you soon, probably before the new year. But if I don't see you before then, have a happy new year. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.